Th speaking of Game of Watch, we're gonna go ahead and see Eon versus. I need a name. Eon versus. Long pause. <laughs> Wait for it. Eon versus Skyler. There you go. Skyler. Okay, see, why doesn't anyone believe? I should have taken it. I would have gotten $5. You would have gotten $5. I'm sorry. I, I was 90% sure. I was actually 100% sure. For some... Yeah. Yeah, go show what I know. All right, so... Cutie cake, I... Cutie cake. Skyler, I'm looking at his little tag right above his head. Uh, Skyler's going in and putting in some easy percent. He's got a... He's got in the chair situation right now. Oh, he went for it. I like that. I respect that. Ooh, oh, wow. The trade. The worst trade of his life. Ah, oh, sad. Or maybe just the worst trade of his stock. I don't know. <laughs> uh, stock life. He's still back at it. Same thing. It's still going to be hard, but I always love the RNG that, that comes with the Game & Watch. You just got to have to keep Eon off the stage and uh, somehow find a way to keep take the first stock to bring us back to a close game. Game & Watch has so many silly tools, though. Honestly, I could see a Game & Watch taking this matchup. It would be interesting to see that. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what he can do against Fox, but you know, Fox combo food. He's really lightweight and he's a fastballer, so things can happen. Game and Watch actually has a, a lot of strong horizontal um, hitboxes, like down tilt, forward tilt. So those can kill pretty early on Fox. Absolutely, and plus he's got the great tool for up smash, which is you know has invincibility frames on it. And a lot of people look at up smash and see that it's a really strong smash attack, which it is. But forward smash is faster. Uh, there we go. We're just talking about up smash, and he's at 69%. This is absolutely a possibility to turn around. Just because he's at 69%, he has that advantage. Uh, well, it's gone. Well, it's a true combo for one stock usually. So now he has. He's now back at the stock. There's a possibility for RNG to happen, but I, I'm not. I'm not. I don't think Eon's gonna even let him have the chance for RNG. He doesn't, he doesn't need to be judged. He's like, only God can judge you. He ain't judging me. See, that's positive on shield, so he just spams it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, for the up smash, he gets a grab. He, went, he goes with up throw? But, uh, I mean, okay. Ooh, okay, he tried to go ahead and stop the illusion with, that, with up smash. Not quite. Oh, okay, oh, the five. Oh, my goodness. Let's see, he had a one last. That's five, so sit. Wow, he dropped his shield for the very last hit. Wow. That's so unfortunate. Wow. Uh, so he had a one and a five. So if he gets a three next, then he can call a nine after that. I mean, I don't know if that's the logical order because one and then five. That that means he added four to the first one, and if you add four to, to five, you get nine. So logically, he's gonna get a nine next. Right. You're right. Have you ever seen a bucket with three fox lasers in it? Yes, I have. Any throw, you can actually go ahead and pull out the bucket and you'll collect all the lasers and you have a full bucket. I mean, but what I'm saying is, like, the hit is so weak. Uh, wait, you, what, what hit are you talking about? Well, five? When you, no, when you, when you buck, when you, whatever you bucket, uh, the strength of that move is is like indicative of the type of hit you'll get. I did not know that actually. I thought I thought you know any oil spill pretty much just kills instantly. No. Not any oil spill. Uh <laughs> like Luigi fireballs, uh Pikachu thunderbolts are pretty strong hits. But like box lasers, nah. Well there wow. we go Nair and the up smash. Great combo by Eon. He's at 68%. Uh, Skyler's gotta find a way to go ahead and take away the stock and bring it back to this game. I don't know if he's gonna be able to do that with judgment. That seems like the RNG is not on the side. Here. Game and Watch has the tools, but Eon is just spacing so well. He's making it almost impossible for Skylar to get a hit in edgewise. Ooh, great timing for the invincibility frames for him to get the up smash in. I do remember he that. He invincibility through the laser. He said, I don't care that you're firing your laser. Great toe oh, wow. but he didn't get any throw off of it. Gotta be quick, cause uh, you know at that level everybody's pretty quick to mash. Gotta go fast. <laughs> Literally. Oh, we take those. Oh, he tried to stay spike him with the uppy. Oh my gosh, the beefy uppy! Wow. Literally lit him up and sent him into the skies. Wow. You know, I still think that Fox would be interesting if he was Falco. Then he'd just be all like, personally, IP for the air. 
but he didn't quite, you know, he I got that. I think Fox would be more interesting if we still had Shine canceling. Yep. He literally is the landmaster, though. More interesting, not more fun. Probably. But there you go, SoCal Specials. We don't have anybody else that goes for the BPOP. Are you sure? 